This is my instructional video for how to use this device for your back pain. I am not a doctor, physical therapist, or any other kind of medical health professional qualified to give you medical advice. I am not. I am a guy who hurt his back when he was 15 years old, lived uh, 15 years in chronic pain in a very unpleasant way, and uh, when I was 30 I found this thing, and it's helped me a lot. So this is how I use it. You'll need a doorway. Um, you want to make sure that it's a doorway no one's going to open while you're using it or, uh, you know, that can come open. So make sure it's locked, uh, you know, and use the hinge side because it's stronger, that kind of thing. Basically, if, if somebody opens the door while you're using it and you happen to be leaning away from this, it can be a problem. So just be careful of that. First exercise. Good to warm up the rope. This piece here tethers inside the door. You open up the door, slide this through, close it. Door closes. If you want to adjust the tension, pull and twist. Makes the number go up and down this little dial. The weight's very relative. Uh, these numbers, you know, depending on condition of your rope, thickness of your rope, how humid the rope is, a lot of, you know, if you've warmed up with it or not, these numbers will mean different things. So, heavier and lighter. You can go from zero to really heavy. First one you put in neighborhood of waist height, maybe a little lower. That's how I like to do it anyway. Um, and when you're feeding the rope, when you're pulling the rope through, feed it with the other hand, right? Pulling with one hand, pushing in with the other. Got the waist belt. So it's out flat. Right. And hook on the other side with your hooks or your latch, whatever your belt is. This helps uh, warm up the belt as well as your spine. So yeah, it looks a little silly at first. Uh, it looks a little silly the whole time, but it works. Feels good in this general region. You want the, the belt like at hip level, not up here, but pulling on your hips. Kind of high step forward. And if that line crosses over, like if you're pulling it up, the line's crossed over, it's gonna make it a lot harder. So keep an eye out for that. You're gonna lean forward a little bit, but try, you know, to stay up and walk from the hips. And when it, uh, where am I? When it lifts off the ground, right, it'll get harder again. So you get a little slower, harder bit at the end. And when you get to the end, Stops. And let itself. Just drop it. And backwards. Same deal. You want it, you know, over the hips. Not so much pulling on the lower back, but just below the hip line there. And uh, backwards you go, all the way to the end of the rope. Then uh, do that four times. Helps warm up uh, your body. You, you feel this, I feel it in my spine. It helps straighten it out and uh, warms up the rope. So it's a good way to start. All right, so forward and back four times, right? 
Uh, about 30 seconds, you know, you adjust the weight until it takes you about 30 seconds to finish one direction. That's the rule of thumb there, and then you're done with this belt. Grab this thing before you open the door. Alright, and this time we're going up top. Same idea. to stay in and kind of on the hinge side because too much leverage away the farther you are from the hinge it, it can bend to the door over time if you don't do it over here so anyway, this one you're going to end up leaning against the door in a seated squatted situation like this grabbing this with your hands backwards, right? So that it comes to just the base of your neck, right here. Now, I'm going to pinch this rope with my hand, right? So I can't pull on either end because they're both being pulled through the pulley here, right? So I'm not, for the first 15 seconds that I'm doing this, or, nah, 8 to 12 count, really. You're gonna keep breathing and try to pull your head, like, if, as if you're trying to put your head down between your knees, like, right? Like, pulling straight forward. But because of this uh, little finger situation here, you're not gonna go anywhere. It's gonna wear out your muscles, get them warmed up, help them uh, get more out of a few reps, basically. It tires you out first and makes a uh, bite kind of heats up the muscles, warms them up, and when you go through, they stretch more. It's pretty cool. Give it a go. So you do this for like, count at least a slow eight to 10 in your head, and then the rep, you know, the, the all the way through should take about 10, 12 seconds too, so. Uh, you let go with your finger. Right. Or I mean, this thing has no weight on it, so you could just let go with your whole hand and then continue from there too. So, um, and all the way through, as far as you can, you know, your range of motion will allow. This thing might hang up on you, or the wires might cross above you. Pull, when you're coming back up, pull out like this and use the rope, you know, to help pull yourself back up again. It takes the weight off your lower back, so you're not trying to do it, just a straight, you know. All right, four of those. Okay, next, has it in the same position. Um, what we're basically going for is a full, um, we're gonna do the same trick, um, where we hold the rope so we can let it go on uh, basically the other three exercises. I'll start that way. Uh, this door is not tall enough for me to get a full range of motion for what I'm going for, so I'm gonna, gonna kneel down here like this. Anyway, I want this to be right about here, right? On a pinch. I'll probably need to adjust the, uh, the weight because uh, it's harder to do this than it is to curl forward. So, anyway, 10 seconds, remember to breathe. Try to keep your body posture, you know, correct. Keep your body mechanics right. And you're trying to pull this, you know, like this. And then when you're done, you let go and you do it for real. It will get harder when it needs to leave the ground, so you probably need to. Just a little tighter, or you know, lighter. And then, finish the exercise. Should take about 10 to 12 seconds to do the whole thing. Pull, pull one rope, push the other. Repeat four times. 
All right, done with that, ready for the last exercise. Just gonna use the uh, base. Grab, open door. Um, So we stand one foot on each side of this. And your hands are facing up. You're grabbing the side that's all the way down. Like that. Pinch the rope again. It's gonna need to be a little heavier than the last one. But you'll adjust that yourself. Anyway. Push up with your legs, hold with your finger. Don't let yourself go anywhere. 10 seconds, then you straighten up to here. All right. And do a little on my toes at the end for the calves and stretching and such. Anyway, four times. You should be able to feel it working when you're doing it, and you should feel a lot better in your back area during and after. So. Mm -hmm. 